One of the stories I like to tell the most is the first lodge here at Mammoth. You know, the wing over there. When, in Dave's early days, he bartered a lot. And he traded the plans for that lodge with Art Lavanino, and he gave him a season pass for the plans. And he overpaid him. <laughs> but the lodge has withstood the onslaught of, as they talked about in the movie, you've never seen a snowstorm until you've seen a mammoth snowstorm. One year, they lost a Greyhound bus for four days. <laughs> Turned out the bulldozer was driving around on eight feet of snow on top of the bus. That's the kind of winters we get here. And when, after, a, after a few years of riding that roto, the opportunity came for Dave to or for anybody in the world could, to build a chairlift, that mammoth. Everybody said there was too much snow, it was too far away from a major population, and it was too high. And they used Count Van Gottschalk's formula for Sun Valley. And when they built Sun Valley in 1935 and 6, his formula was that it had to be on the Union Pacific Railroad, cannot be above 5,000 feet in elevation because of potential pulmonary problems, and it can't be near a major city because of weekend crowding, 1936. <laughs> when Dave was building Rotos, he looked at all of those ideas and laughed at them because he was right. It used to be a seven hour drive from Redondo Beach to here on a two lane road. And now, I think the record is three hours and four minutes. <laughs> But we, I don't know who holds the record, I think it's the last guy that told the lie. I do know that Franz Weber, when he came up one spring to race in the Dave McCoy race, he was going back to Squaw Valley. And at one time, Franz Weber owned, owned the world speed record on skis at 100 and whatever it was. He got stopped north of Independence by the Highway Patrol airplane. He got arrested for going 185 in a 55. <laughs> and when they, when he finally got into a stop, they told him to get out of the car and lay on the ground. He said, if I get out of the car, the burglar alarm will go off. And it did. He had some sort of thing in there that if he didn't pull the switch, his wife would phone. But anyway, he was able to get out of it because it was a different arresting officer than the one that gave him the 185 mile an hour ticket. Well, Dave and Romo have been riding that motorcycle at 100 miles an hour for 60 years. But they've been going 10,000 miles an hour. As Rusty said, they built everything here, or were behind everything. One of the first Thanksgivings I came to Mammoth, it snowed so hard, and the track came off of one of the weasels, and we couldn't get up here to the rope toes. And everybody that skied at Mammoth that weekend, fit in the bar of the Mammoth Tavern. There must, there must have been 60 of us here that weekend. It was a record weekend. And I would like to invite Dave and Roma up here on the stage for a moment so you folks can see what really wonderful people look like. Come on up. And come up here, both of you. If you ran slump, the two of you have to talk till everybody leaves. <laughs> okay, hi everybody. Hi. I'm glad to hear you if you're ever in Fisher and you want to run on Brian.
And now, I would have to say that any given day, there's over 12,000 people in the community. And so many of you stood up and said you worked at Mammoth. How many of you have made your life follow what you learned here? How many of you? And the reason I say that is I think Mammoth has been the biggest vocational educational center in the United States. And you guys, I congratulate you all for your success. And from those six people that were here then, and our four children that lived at Crowley Lake Dam went to school in a room smaller than this platform, and a couple of them are here yet tonight and may say something about it. So we started with schools, and like Rusty said, the water district, the fire district, the hospital, and now all of this. And uh, Evan lost a great chance to say something. He said, we have built a college meeting every one of you here, and now we're building a dorm. And he said, it's so easy. I thought maybe he was going to say, well, it's going to cost $8 million. <laughs> and that's exactly what he is short today to finish that. And that's how we've done everything. Everybody's reached deep in their pocket and they've helped us build whatever we have built. And I want to thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, I don't know what else to really say. I saw some weasels. Do you, how many of you know what a weasel is? <laughs> it's a guy that takes advantage of you. <laughs> There was a little animal that sneaks into the chicken shed and eats eggs? No, no, no. Or is it that funny thing that was on the screen that has a big track on it? Yeah! Yes. Yeah. All right, we went from a weasel to a rhino. <laughs> and we don't come up here and ski down the mountain so hard, but we look at the mountains and we take pictures and we look at them 365 days a year, in a year and a half, that's made 60,000 pictures. So you've only seen a little tiny bit of what we've done.